Hi guys, PoE++ switch has higher power than the PoE++ switch, which can deliver up to 90 watts of power over Ethernet cable. The PoE++ switch used up all four pairs of the wire to deliver power, whereas the standard PoE++ only used two pairs. It gives it more power to the edge device over Ethernet cable, which means you can locate your device further far away from the power source. It is also a useful technology for powering a wide range of devices, especially the high power level like the high performance SS point and security cameras. Today in this video, I'm going to unbox a 90 watts PoE++ switch and connect it to a high power camera, which is the PTZ camera. But before we jump to the video, Please make sure you like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling, because it really helps with our YouTube algorithm and make my life a whole lot easier. So this is the PoE++ switch in a package, and it looks exactly the same when you receive it. So let's open it together, okay? I already opened the box. Now, let's take everything out. We have the first box here and the second box. The switch and the power source come with individual boxes. So let's open them. I think this is the power supply. Yes, the power supply set. And this is the main switch. Let's open it together. Okay. Here we go. This is the switch and it's compact actually. It's pretty small. And it comes with the ethernet cable, more protection, a manual, and I believe it's the cushion rubber feet. You can put it under the switch when mounting. Okay. First thing, make sure you take out the protection coverage, which comes with the package. Okay, it's right here. All right, so we have the switch. And let's check out the plastic wrap of our power sauce set. And here's everything. Let's take a closer look and see what they are. So let's take a closer look. This is the PoE switch and those are the PoE ports. Now, the two ports on the left can support up to 90 watts of power, when the two ports on the right can only support 30 watts of power. Keep that in mind. And this is the uplink port, which is used to connect one network device to another device, typically a higher level device, such as the backbone network or a core network like the NVR or the router. And here is the dip switch. It can support PoE, UPoE, and legacy PoE. Now let's turn to the back of our switch. So here's the back of the switch. This is the grinding spot. It is where a grinding wire can be connected. It is an essential safety feature in any electrical system because it really helps to prevent electrical shock, damage to equipment, and even fires. This is the AC adapter port. And let's see, we have our AC adapter supply. And the external power source can provide a reliable power source to the switch and ensure that the device connected to it receives the requi required amount of power, especially when higher power devices are connected to the switch. This is the rubber feet. It has four. I don't know if you can see. Let me take it out. See, it has four. Let's try to put one on the back of the switch like this. And it has four of those. Now it also comes with an ethernet cable and a manual. And this is pretty much all about our unboxing today. Now we are all done unboxing here. 
I bet you can't wait to see how it works. So now let's move on to the demonstration board and we'll see how to connect our PoE++ with the PTC camera. So here we are right in front of the demonstration board. Our setup is pretty simple today. Let's do it from the beginning. So this is the PoE++ switch that we just unboxed. And the indicator light is on because it's already powered up. We're going to link it with our router using the short patch cord. Remember to put it in the uplink port to connect with our router. Just like that. And our router is already connected to our NVR for the camera image. Now, remember the two on the left can provide up to 90 watts of power, but the right only 30 watts. We are connecting to a PTZ camera, which require high power. So we are going to put it in the, the left port. Now, let's come over to the PTZ side. We just simply plug in the PoE um, Ethernet cable with our PTZ camera, just like this. And it will deliver power and data to the camera. So the setup is done and it's very simple. We just have to wait for the camera image to show up. So here are some more tips on the PoE++ switch. Make sure you place it on a sturdy surface where the suitable place which is dry and ventilated, also away from direct sunlight and heat source. And other tips is use the pure copper cable like Cat5e or Cat6 cable because copper is a superior conductivity compared to other material and it also help reduce power loss and maximize the power delivered to the end device. Now, it can provide low resistance and less voltage drop, which give a better power transmission efficiency and less heat trans generation. And the PoE++ switch has total 180 watts of power budget. So what happens if it's overloaded? Don't worry, because the switch will reboot itself automatically, so it's perfectly safe and will not damage any device. Now, this is all done for our video today. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.